Quirky Engine Entertainment, from box to party in minutes. Eyeball Boxing, a three-headed giant game from Quirky Engine Entertainment. The object of the game. In eyeball boxing, you pit a duo of eyeballs in the ring against other players. The goal, deliver the KO punch and be the last eye standing, or make three perfect hot dogs. Game setup. Two to five players can play eyeball boxing. Start by going through the deck and removing the three bell cards and all of the eyeball cards. Shuffle the deck. Each player chooses a character, Bruiser, Gripes, Scraps, Spork, or Stig, and takes the character's four color-coded cards. If there are extra characters, leave them out of the game. Deal seven cards from the deck to each player. Once the cards are dealt, insert the three bell cards back into the deck, one at about one-third from the top, the second at about two-thirds, and the third near the bottom of the deck. Put the deck in the middle of the table as a draw pile. Players pick up their hands and look at their cards. The player with the biggest smack-talking insult goes first. Eyeball cards. Eyeball boxing is all about pitting your eyeballs against other players in the arena. All players start the game by choosing an eyeball character. Each character set consists of four cards divided into two identical pairs. These double-sided cards represent different stages of damage an eyeball takes before becoming blacked out. Start the game by placing your eyeball card pairs on the table in two two-card stacks. Place your two eyeball stacks with the fully healed state on top and the blacked out state on the bottom. As eyeballs take damage, you will turn the cards over to reflect four states of increasing damage, from good to go, to woozy, to punchy, to blacked out. How to play a turn. During your turn, you may play one card from your hand and draw one replacement card from the draw pile. Depending on the card you play, other players may throw cards on the table to affect your turn. Even after playing a card during another player's turn, you must instantly draw one replacement card. After making a complete hot dog, we'll talk about this later, by laying all three ingredient cards on the table, immediately draw three replacement cards from the draw pile into your hand. Although you will start the game with seven cards in your hand, the number of cards may change. Don't sweat it. If your hand ever has more than seven cards, just play down to seven, then continue to draw a card whenever you play a card, and everything will be groovy. Eyeball boxing is a brutal sport. Although there are referees at hand who try to keep it by the book, it's normal for eyeball boxers to break the rules. During your turn, you may play a legal or an illegal move. Should you attempt an illegal move, you run the risk of another player throwing a referee card to stop you. Here are the moves. Let's start with the above the board, good sportsmanship legal moves. Legal moves, green cards. Punch. Play punch cards on opposing eyeball characters to inflict damage. Each time an eyeball is punched, the player turns the defending eyeball card to reflect the damage. A punch card may be stopped with a block or a block and not card. Block cards. Play block cards to stop attacks with punch, jab and grab, shakedown, and block and knock cards. Jab and grab. Play a jab and grab card on any eyeball in play. Jab and grab cards inflict damage like punch cards, but the defending character must give up one hot dog ingredient, dog, bun, or condiments, defender's choice, to the attacker without showing the ingredient card to other players. A jab and grab card can be defended with a block or a block and knock card. Shakedown. Play a shakedown card on any eyeball character to inflict damage and to request a specific hot dog ingredient, dog, bun, condiments, from the defending player. If the defending player does not have the requested ingredient, he or she does not have to give up a hot dog ingredient card. A shakedown card may be blocked with a block or a block and knock card. Block and knock. Play a block and knock card to block an incoming attack from a punch, jab and grab, shakedown, or another block and knock card. Block and knock is a one-two combo, allowing you to counter punch the attacker after blocking the incoming blow. It's possible for several block and knock exchanges to happen all at once. Just remember to draw a card after playing a card to keep your options open. Block and knock cards block any incoming attack, but counters that attack only with a standard punch. For example, a player may block and knock an incoming shakedown attack, but may only punch the attacker back. The defender may not shake down the attacker even if a shakedown card was initially used. 
patch and stitch. Play a patch and stitch card to heal one of your eyes by one level. You may not play a patch and stitch card to heal your opponents. You may not heal a fully knocked out eyeball. Safety first. Play a safety first card in front of your eyeballs to make them immune to one attack from a punch, jab and grab, shakedown, block and knock, swarm, eye fry, or nap time card. After any attack, you must remove the safety first card, making your eyeballs once again vulnerable to incoming attacks. Build a dog. Use hot dog ingredient cards to make hot dogs. You can get hot dog ingredient cards by either drawing them from the draw pile or, for even more fun, stealing them from opponents with jab and grab, shakedown, and steal cards. You may make a hot dog instantly when you have all three ingredients. Just take the ingredient cards from your hand and place them in a stack on the table in front of you. A completed hot dog must have one of each ingredient card. Dog condiments, and bun cards. Remember to draw your hand back up to seven cards after making a hot dog. Illegal moves, purple cards. Steal. Play steal cards when a hot dog ingredient card changes hands as the result of a shakedown card. You may throw a steal card and take the ingredient into your own hand even if the hot dog ingredient card is being exchanged between other players. Any player can throw a steal card no matter whose turn it is. Players may play additional steal cards to steal a stolen hot dog ingredient. You may only play steal cards as the result of a shakedown card. You may not play a steal card as the result of a jab and grab card. Swarm. Play a swarm card in front of any opponent's eyeballs. The defender may not attack, punch, jab and grab, shakedown, or block, block, block and knock during his or her next turn. The defending player may discard the swarm card after finishing his or her next turn. Eye fry. Play an eye fry card in front of any opponent's eyeballs. The defending player may not use a patch and stitch card to heal his eyeballs until he gets rid of the eye fry card with an additional patch and stitch card. Players affected with eye fry may attack, steal, and foul normally, but may not heal. Nap time. Play a nap time card in front of any opponent's eyeball characters. The defending player may discard the nap time card on his next turn, but may not take any other action. Foul. Neutral card. Throw a foul card to stop the effects of any illegal move, purple cards. Any player can throw a foul card on any illegal move, no matter whose turn it is. Illegal moves include swarm, eye fry, steal, and nap time cards. Multiple illegal moves. You may play multiple types of illegal cards on opponents, hence an eye fry and a swarm card on the same opponent. You may not play multiple illegal moves of the same type on the same opponent, hence you may not play an eye fry card on a player who already has an eye fry card in front of his or her eyeballs. Saved by the bell. As players draw cards from the draw pile, it becomes more likely that one of the three bell cards placed into the deck at about thirds before the game will come up. Should a player draw a bell card, he or she must immediately pause the game by throwing the card on the table and saying, ding, 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 ding. Once the bell rings, all players may use a patch and stitch card, if they have one in their hands, to heal a single eyeball up one level. Drawing a bell card is not considered part of a player's turn. After drawing a bell card and pausing the game for patching and stitching, the player who drew the bell card resumes his or her turn. Winning the game. You can win eyeball boxing by one of two ways. Either by being the last eyeball standing with all other eyeballs on the table blacked out, or by building three hot dogs. If either of these circumstances are met, the game instantly ends and you are free to gloat. Alternate rule. For more interaction, when an illegal move is played, steal, swarm, eye fry, or nap time, you might consider allowing players to foul foul cards. Hence, the last foul card thrown determines the final ruling on whether an illegal move is blocked or permitted. Quirky Engine Entertainment, from box to party in minutes.
Eyeball Boxing, a three-headed giant game from Quirky Engine Entertainment.